All right, guys, this is video numero dos. So we're in this beautiful town called Utica, New York. It's, uh, it's that bag screw brewing. Um, so bag square. Bag square, square brewing. Brew. So uh, this is, uh, we're, uh, we're gonna travel Utica and uh, with the CNY Brew Buds. And uh, we're gonna break some beers, have a good time. We want you guys to come along. And um, it's pretty cold out, as you can tell, it's like 19 degrees, so. Try until we try them all. We're gonna try until we try them all, so please come along. All, all right, well, let's brewing. do it. First pot. Yeah! <laughs> it is very cold. Very cold. And there's the beer garden that they have. Right here. Doesn't that look fun to sit in? Oh, look at those comfy, warm chairs. <laughs> So this is the uh, Children's Museum of Play. Um, it's kind of the only thing for kids to do on their birthdays in Utica. <laughs> uh, just, again, there's not much to do in Utica. It's a pretty rundown city. But we make the best of it. I guess we do. We are the CNY Brew Buds. Uh-huh. <laughs> Paul's taking a picture of the train. An actual train station? Wow, yeah. fancy. So this, uh, believe it or not, is the train station for Utica. It's really nice. This actually gives me vibes. Yeah, come New York City. Come check this out. Grand Central Station. This is just a very mini form. Yeah. Back in the day, Utica used to be a public place. Dude, look at those ceilings. I know. All right, guys, we're here at Back Square Brewing. Here it is. We're about to go in and check it out. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do so it. Cold. Join us. Join us. <laughs> All right, guys, we're inside now. Here's uh, some of the beer that they have to offer. And we're going to go get some flights and try them till we try them all. Yes, ambiance. Check out the ambiance. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It looks like almost like a old, very old building for sure. Yeah. And then there's some rooms back there too. What's up guys? So we just got our flights. Here's the flight card. So I got a um, Mick... What did I get here? The McShorsey Irish Stout? Which is that one? The Brown Ale, the Pumpkin uh, Junction, and the Cranitico. Which is like a sour, cranberry sour. All right, I actually got all completely different beers. There you go. Um, I got Hefeweizen. That's Hefeweizen. I got an Oktoberfest. This is the Oktoberfest. Um, this is like a, uh, it's a fruity beer. It does look fruity, yeah. Yeah, it's called the, uh, what's it called? Um, the Alt beer. So the Alt beer. The Alt beer. And um, last but not least, this is the New England IPA. Ooh, so we'll nice. see how it goes. Okay. Let's rate them. So what we're gonna do is Paul and Bill are gonna pick their favorite one that they want to try the most and rate it, and then we'll kind of conglomerate it at the end with the rest of the ratings. So. Right. So I'm starting off my first rate with the Cranticle which is the cranberry sour. Let's see how it is. I'm looking forward to it. Will it be a 4.0 or higher? I don't know. We should see. Bill, while he's There's sipping. I want to try is the Hefeweizen. Uh, you know, I just like Hefeweizen in general. It's got a nice fruity taste to it. So, let's see how it goes. We're into it in All right, the first sip was pretty good. Pretty sour. It's a, it's a pretty decent sour. Get the ambiance in the background. <laughs> what do you rate it? <clears throat> out of five. Out of five, out of five, but I'm gonna give this a uh, three points out of five. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. You know, it's, it's first the half wise and so on. It's pretty good. I've had better. It's got like a stale layer to it, which is kind of bringing it down. I'm gonna give it a 3.4. 3.4, okay. 
Alright guys, we finished all our beers. We got a couple of our favorites. I'm drinking it right now. It's the New England IPA. I didn't even rate it because I didn't choose it, but... Honorable mention number one. I, it would definitely be probably a 3.85 on the scale. Wow. Um, it's a great New England IPA in my, in my, uh, my opinion. And then Bill, he liked... Uh, so mine was the Oktoberfest. Oh, um, she's not an Oktoberfest guy. The Oktoberfest has a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's actually a sweeter Oktoberfest if anyone likes you know, the sweeter beer. Uh, you can taste cinnamon in it. Gave it a 4.2 out of 5. So, nice. Wow. You know, get awesome. the New England IPA or the Oktoberfest. You come here. Yeah, back square, man. Thanks. And we're going to add it all up and get back to you. Yeah, we'll let you know where the final score is. Got a little bit of the brew process going on back here. And it's literally located in a weird abandoned building. I don't know what's up there, but I'm kind of tempted to go look. But yeah. All right, guys, we finished off at Bag Square. Let me tell you, it was a pretty good experience. Great atmosphere in there, pretty good yeah. beer. We ended up giving it a 375 out of four, which three. is a decent score. 375 out of five. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna check out here, and we're going to our next spot, Woodlands. Woodland Farm Brewery. So, it's a little north of here. So get come, ready. Come join us on our adventure. Woo! Yes. Let's go. Careful of the ice chunk. Better. Take that away before I actually like. All right, guys. Welcome to uh, Woodland Brewery. Only took about 30 minutes to get here. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this is. I think they got some barrel aged stuff. So let's check it out. Here's the entrance. <laughs> What's up guys? We're here at Woodlands. Uh, no flights here, so uh, we're just trying a little whatever we wanted. And I got a barrel aged uh, something. It's decent. I'd probably give it a three. <laughs> and uh, Bill, what'd you get? Uh, so I got, I, it's called the, uh, the Suma, Sumana Pup. I probably got it. It's, it's just a, I guess a light lager. I'm not a fan of it. So this place really has an atmosphere of like a, like a ski, lodge. ski lodge. I mean, it's called Woodland, so you can kind of see. It's not terrible. You have to come here and maybe try it again. But it's, uh, they don't have very many the best food options. No gluten free. Um, and we can't really, yep. there's no flights, so we can't really rate it. But, you know, all in all. Not a, not, not a bad little stop. We'll uh, we'll keep the tour going and uh, see if we can find uh, find the next spot. Yep. Cheers. Uh, all in all, for me, I'm just not really a big fan. This is less than three. We have a two point six. <laughs> so a little bit of a change of scenery. We're now at some whiskey Irish pub of sorts. I'm turning the camera around. This is it. Um, it's really nice and the ambiance is really good. I haven't been inside yet. Paul and Bill are there. I ended up eating five tacos from Taco Bell in the meantime. So they didn't want to wait, but here we go. Paul, where are we? Where are we? Are we at the Five Points Public House? Yes. I guess so. Dude, this place is awesome. I this know. This is like a, like original Irish pub built. Take it from here. I think you heard, what did so, you say? They built yeah. this. So basically this is actually a pub from Ireland. So what they did wow. is they uh, deconstructed the pub from Ireland. They have all the designs. So they reconstructed this pub as it would be in Ireland. So uh, it's awesome. It's very, really awesome. very cool. I really like it. And this. guys, look at this. This is how you do a black and tan right there. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Take that, Chase. Take that. <laughs> Seating's nice. Yeah, it's cool. 
I'm potato chips and what? Iron pretzels? You want potato chips? Look, because we want to order some. You're rushing. Well, that's so much time. Chicken wings are only 10 bucks if you want chicken wings. Yeep. <laughs> so it's close? Yes. It's very cool. What do you say? What do you say? I actually really like that great place. Great spot. Very good spot. Great beer, great food. Um, we didn't do ratings, but I'll give it like a 4.3. It was like the I mean, I'd give it at least a... That's a great spot. i give it at least a 4. Woo! There's Bill. Comes Willie. <laughs> Let's see how he improvises. Ready? Oh, we should say we're over here. Bill, why don't you tell us where we are? So this is a lot of the noise. We're at actually Copper City. This is Rome, New York, not Rome, Italy. I don't want people confused. <laughs> um, so we're about 20 minutes away from Utica. It's uh, Copper City's gonna be, I think, a good spot. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-rate this 3.9. Oh, he's so, pre-rated. Uh, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Let's get in. Let's get in. Come on, join us. Okay, we can say whatever we want. Actually, I rate it pretty low. <laughs> really? It's Saranac. It's not even. They're not even. Not even. All right, Paul. Here you go. Your turn. All right, guys. We're here at Copper City Brewery. This is our last stop. Let me tell you, I got a treat for you. I hope it's a good rating. If it's not. It's not my fault. Anyways, <laughs> what did I get here? I got the uh, Saint. Which is, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> we got the rye. We got the 57 and the gose, which that's a sour. The 57 is, dude, I don't even know. I got a New England, a sour. I got the gose. We did get a sour, which is the rye. That's the, that's the rye. And that's the um, Saint, which is the Belgian, the Belgian, Quad or the Belgian Quad Propel 57 is, I believe, the New England. So, geez, that's yeah, a while. that was a big jump around, but you know, this is what happens when you end the brew tour with a few too many drinks. <laughs> Bill, so like you said, we are ending the brew tour tonight. Um, we're not trying to go too hard, <laughs> so like, I didn't get my beers were not too strong, like, so I got the Saz. The Saz doesn't matter. Um, basically, this is just a uh, crisp, light colored herbal spice ale with some U European bitterness. Um, this is just a blonde ale. You know, blonde ales are always, you know, refreshing, more sweet. Um, so, this is an IPA one. I don't think it's going to be as good as the one I had at um, Bragg City. And last but not least, this is. It's called the Revere beer. No, it just says, here's to your Revere copper. <laughs> Lager's clean, crisp, and ready for you at the end of the day. Right. So it's just a fucking lager, I guess. So. And end with me. Guys, just so you know, we've been having a few drinks. We're being very safe. Alexis, she has not had any drinks. She's driving us. So thank you, Alexis, for being safe. And now, let's enjoy these beers. Woo!
Thank you a lot. All right, here we go. This is a, the size is not bad. All right. Well, what do I got? How the hell have they not been to Utica, Red City? Ooh, ah, this is good. Which one is that? Go oh, say. Yeah, that's good. So this is a <laughs> Are you recording this? This is a Alright, let's go say it. Pretty good. I'll probably give it a. I'm gonna be a little generous here to start it off. I'm gonna give it three point uh, six. Three six. Three six to start it off. Yeah, it's a good go set. Okay, so this is sad for me. I'm not a really big fan. The fact that this is only. 5.5% uh, alcohol. It's very, very bitter. 3.3. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Straight oh, that's, that's, that's a rough score. I'm so like I'll say it right now, but I already rated it. You gotta put your pinky up. Pinky's up. <laughs> You can buy some merchandise while you're here. They also have like shirts, cups, you name it. And they have a whole bunch of games. And a nice warm fire. A guitar if you want to play the guitar. Yeah, it's good atmosphere. Yeah. That's what your dad has in his house. Yeah. You like the sliding? Yeah. So this is a uh, margarita. Fifty-seven. So this is the fifty-seven, the uh, New England IPA. Um, worst cheers I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, All right. we just finished up here at Copper City. We gave it a, um, what did we give it, Bill? 3.63. 3.63, which, I mean, right. it was pretty good. Yeah. Like, not amazing, but it was not bad. Yeah, you know, and, it's uh, average. a good way to finish out the night. Yeah, I'm very happy with our selections. Alright right, guys, well that's episode two, and thanks for tuning in. Yeah. See, you See you later. You will definitely appreciate the next episode. Hey guys, we are here at O'Shaughnessy's downtown. This is the after party remix Blue Buns. Let me tell you, I got some not great and it's delicious. So I have a cold spring. Uh, cold snap. Uh, cold snap. Cold snap. And yeah, this is an after party. We're actually back to search for This is some bonus footage. Yeah. You wouldn't see this normally. This is behind the scenes. But we, are, we, we want to give our fans if they deserve it. We're going to give you guys some more. <gasps> That's a little bonus. A little well, bonus, but we'll have more content for you guys. So, yeah. She took a shot of tequila. Hulk just had a shot of tequila. It was out of the blue, but he did. He took it like a chip. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is special footage. Yeah, absolutely. You're in my heart. You're in my soul. You drink my breath till I grow old. You are my love